in today's video i'm going to be telling you guys 10 beautiful amazing countries that you can visit this year next year or the year after stay tuned and enjoy all of them hey you guys welcome back to my youtube channel it's your girl pretty fresh and i'm back again with another video for you guys coming up number 10 is south africa south africa is the southernmost country on the african planet and it's renowned for its varied topography and it has great nature beauty and the cultural diversity in south africa now bear in mind i have never been to south africa so i don't really know much about them but i know for sure that it's one of the top 10 most beautiful countries in the world and because of um all this qualities that south africa has it has made the country a very amazing place for tourists to visit and for travelers to like go to and tour and visit the place. Hopefully one day I'll be able to go there. Now let's see what South Africa looks like. Coming up number nine is Costa Rica. I'm sorry for pronouncing it that way, but Costa Rica is coming up in number nine of the most beautiful countries in the world. Costa Rica is a country of Central America and its capital is San Jose. I don't know if I'm pronouncing all this right, but of all the Central American countries, Costa Rica is generally regarded as having the most stable and the most democratic government and you guys like seeing costa rica come out as number nine in the most beautiful countries in the world it just made me remember this meme on tiktok i don't know if you guys watched it but i just play for you guys right now Yeringo Flamingo. In Costa Rica, we call this Diaspora Esculento. <laughs> what do you do with it? We eat it now. You eat this yes. stuff? Yes. Come on, mama. In Costa Rica, we throw these things away. Hold it. Huh? You chasing me away? No, no, no. no. So soon? Huh? Not at all. Homeland. Homeland. Yeah. Bouché. Who are you? Oh, Bisque. Excuse me, mom. Hello. Come, come, come. Come, come, come. If it's the same stuff so like I ate last night, like, I don't want it. it. Forget it. it. Forget, forget it. it. I don't want to eat poison. Mom, poison. Forget it. Mama, if you don't apologize to me this no, minute, I'm going back, back to Costa Rica. Rica. Eh? You're going, going back. back. If you don't no, tell me you're sorry, sorry, the next flight yeah. takes me straight uh, to Costa, Costa Rica. Rica. <laughs> TikTok made me watch the movie. Oh my god, you guys. Like, at this point, take me to Costa Rica.
Coming up, number seven is Peru. Peru, power. Peru, Peru, power. I'm blue. Even Peru, not the power. Okay, so Peru is a country in South America, and it's um it's a home to a section of Amazon rainforest and Machu Picchu. Coming up, number six, we have Australia. And Australia is officially the Commonwealth of Australia. Australia is the sixth largest country in the world. That is crazy. I'm just hearing that. Well, wow, that's what I really want to know the first largest country in the world. If Australia is number six. Hey Google, what's the first largest country in the world? Russia. According to World Ameter, the largest country in the world is Russia with a total area of 17,098,242 square kilometers and a land area of 16,376,870 square kilometers, equivalent to 11% of the total world's land mass of 148,940,000 square kilometers. Okay, thank you. Wow. So Russia is the first. I didn't know that, but yeah, Australia is the seventh most beautiful country in the world. So let's go check it out. Numbers, okay, now we're in the big five, okay? Like, do you know what it means to be among the five most beautiful countries in the world? Yo, I don't know if Niger, I'm Nigerian. I don't know if Nigeria is going to fall on that. <laughs> okay, okay, so we're in the big five now. So coming up in number five, we have Morocco. Now, Morocco is known for its colorful markets, it's known for desert landscapes, and it's also known for its Asian seasons. So I guess in Morocco, they have like, their markets are very colorful, like with the what they sell, their stores and stuff like that. I'm just saying, I don't know. And then uh, maybe like they have cities that have buildings that have been there for years and years and years. It'll be nice. I've seen so many amazing videos of Morocco on YouTube, on TikTok, and it'll be so nice to visit that one day. Let's go check it out. Oh. 
Morocco is a country of vibrant colors, rich history, and an incredible culture. Today, I travel across the major cities of Morocco exploring what this North African country has to offer. I start in Casablanca, the city with the biggest functional mosque in Africa. Then I travel across the country to the city of Marrakech to explore the famous Medina, which is home to some of the most exciting activities in Morocco. And finally, I take on the Atlas Mountains, where I attempt to climb all the way to the top of its snow-covered peaks to see it seven waterfalls. My journey is going to take seven days and I try to challenge myself by keeping my whole trip under $1,000 because I'm cheap like that. Now let's get started exploring one of the most visited places in Africa. Hey, you must come to Morocco. And the Syria! The Moroccan miracle is still up! Coming up number four, we have... Number four, we have Kanaza. I know Canada was pretty. I'm just kidding, y'all. I'm just kidding. But Canada is number four of the most beautiful countries in the world. And I need to go to Canada. Yeah, the crazy thing is Canada is very close to New York. And if you know what? I don't want to make promises. I don't want to make promises. But by next year, I should be 23. And hopefully, I should be able to travel by myself. I want to go to Canada. Like, I'll go from, because I stay in Atlanta. From Atlanta, I'll go to New York. And from New York, I'll go to Canada. I could even go to Canada from here. But I just feel like anyhow shop but I really want to visit Canada I mean I have I have a couple of friends there but like it would be nice to visit like the neighboring country close to the United States but Canada comes in number four and um from the look of things Canada has majestic mountains like majestic mountains reminds me of arizona arizona had so many majestic mountains they had um the grand canyon they had so many mountains i don't know all their names but i guess canada has mountains too and it has vibrant cities in the day and in the night they be popular and then they also have diverse natural beauties around the country Canada really looks like a very exciting place to visit and it would be nice to go. Oh, we could go now. Let's check it out. Number three, we have New Zealand. Now, New Zealand is known for its stunning landscape. I don't know what it looks like, but we could put a, put a picture of the stunning landscape in New Zealand. And it's also known for its outdoor adventures. You can do so many things outdoor. And also, it's Mario culture. What does that mean? Hey Gugu, what does Mario culture in New Zealand mean? According to Wikipedia, Maori culture is the customs, cultural practices, and beliefs of the indigenous Maori people of New Zealand. Oh. 
Okay. Yeah, I guess it's the it's the customs and cultural practices that the New Zealand people believe in. Okay. Coming up number two, we have Italy. Wow. You know, I actually have in my bucket list to try Italian dish. I just gotta look for an Italian restaurant near me, but Italy is on my bucket list to travel to and to try out their food. Honestly, with their food, I don't care if I'm gonna try it out here before I travel to Italy or I don't know, but in the nearest future, I wanna try their food and I wanna travel to Italy. But Italy has so many historical cities. It has delicious cuisines, including their spaghetti. Um, What else? And you know spaghetti is my favorite. So imagine eating your favorite dish in Italy. Ooh, in a very nice restaurant. Fully dressed with a pretty dress. Mm. Anyways, yeah, and Italy also has Renaissance arts in so many places around the city. And we could go check it out right now. 6,000 villages dotting its landscape. <laughs> Abruzzo region, Scanna offers a charming vista against the dramatic backdrop of towering mountains and expansive forests. This village boasts a medieval center, where ancient stone buildings and lively squares vividly depict the everyday life of its people. Just a short distance away, the tranquil waters of Lake Scanna provide a perfect setting for peaceful reflection and immersion in nature. Throughout the year, Scanno's rich cultural agenda celebrates the region's traditions and culinary delights. Now, drum roll for number one. Do you know what it means to be the first and number one most beautiful countries in the world? Yeah, one of the YouTubers I watch, her name is her name is Diera. She recently traveled to Japan 
And from her videos, y'all, I really want to pack my bags and go to Japan right now. Because what is that beauty? What is that beauty? You see Korea, Japan. Where else? There's There are like three places that like they look alike. They do stuff alike. Their countries look alike. And Japan is known for its cherry blossoms. And they have this rich culture that they really abide by. And also, they are modern and traditional at the same time. Japan is an island country in East Asia and it's the Northwest Pacific Ocean and it's bordered on the west by the Sea of Japan. And also, fun fact about Japan, they don't have signatures. You know, in most countries, you know, when you're trying to sign a document or something like that, they just tell you put your signature in. But I just found out that Japan, they all have their own seals. You know, that stamp? Yeah. Everybody has theirs. And that is so cool. I, I don't even have one. I really need to have one. Yeah. But that's that's the fun fact about Japan. You know what? We don't need to know any more about Japan. We'll just go check out the video and see what Japan has to offer to me and you. Let's go. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. I enjoyed this video. I enjoyed every bit of knowing things about this countries that I haven't been to and I would love to go someday. And you know when I go, I'll document it and show you guys that haven't gone. So when you guys go, you document it and show other people that haven't gone. I'm just kidding. But it will be really nice if you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. We're on the road to 400 subscribers. At the time of filming this video, we're at, 400, we're at 390 subscribers. So it will be nice to get to 400, at least when this video is posted. <laughs> Thank you so much. I'll see you guys in the next video. Adios.